Hello and welcome to this episode of How To Tutorials by Level Nation Studios. My name is Lydia and in this very episode I'm going to show you how you can overlay your logo or image on your material in Blender. Let's get started. <music> So I'm going to use Joy for this video, this character, her name is Joy, and I'm going to overlay the Levolution logo, this logo right here, on our t-shirt, on our tank top. So let's hide the jacket, select it and click on H to hide, then select the top, and I'm going to put the logo right here on our top. And to do this, you can easily just paint the texture on, um, on the character. Um, by using texture um, paints. If you don't know how to texture paint using images, do well to check out our tutorial on how to texture, how to texture paint using images. So that will uh, really teach you how you can texture your character's outfit using external images. But for now, this is not that is not going to work because this is um, this is not driven by texture. At least not the um base color part of the character's outfit so because i can easily change the character's top and do something crazy with it without actually stressing myself so i've easily changed a top from yellow to pink but i want the logo right there on top of this so how do i do that easy i just come down here to the material create a new texture part so as to bring in my logo. So I can easily just duplicate this or so I go to add texture, image texture. So I click on open and go to HTT, go to textures and bring in the Levolution logo. So with that brought in, it's not yet connected to the um, material. And to connect it, all I have to do is just use a mix shader like this mix RGB, not shader, sorry. There's a different one for mixing shader and there's a different one for mixing textures. So we'll be needing the mix RGB. So let me just move this back. Shift A, under color, mix RGB. So when I bring that in, I have this um, mix size. It's the same thing as this. So I just plug it in down here, then plug the logo into to the lower one. So he's mixing them, these two textures, these two here, 50-50. Half of this and half of this, and that is not what we want. We want the logo to be right on top of the top color. So to do that, we'll move it to zero. Anything that is color one, the one on top, means zero. Then anything that is one is the one below, which is one. So we'll move it to um, zero, that's color one. And the, the logo is not showing. But if you want the logo to be right on top of it, you just use this alpha channel and use that one as the fact. So you see that the logo is right on top of it. Now, the next thing we have to worry about is um, making sure the logo is right in front of the character's outfit. Um, and there are two ways to do this. I'm going to show you the first one first, and which is yeah, using the mapping, the texture mapping and just moving the texture around. And the other one is by using UV. So let me do the first one. So select the um, the logo image, Control T, to bring up this um, mapping, the texture content and mapping, which is um, by default if you have Node Ringler activated. It's an add-on, a free add-on that comes shipped with Blender. So just make sure you activate it to have this functionality. So Control T to create this mapping and texture coordinates, and I move this back. So now, if I go to under UV, my logo is kind of right here and here, but I want it to be in the middle, in the middle of the top. So to do that, what I have to do is just scale the logo down, like scale it up. Like, yeah. Then move it around, but I don't even really know which one is the main logo by doing it this way. So I need to change this from repeat to clip. So clip, we only use one, it's lost. Let me take it down, okay? Yeah, 
So I can start moving things around, move it to the front, scale it up again, move it to the front. So you can keep doing that until you get white to take it up, then this to, to, to scale it down. So I've tried this before and minus 27 is a good number for this. So minus 27 and minus 7. So then this one is about 4 or so. Yeah, I can take this up. Depending on what you want, this is good enough for me. So if I feel it's squashed and I want it wider, I can easily do that by scaling just the X. Then I can bring it back in. Oh, actually the other way. And I can bring it back in. So let me change it. So. Yeah. It's too big. Okay, three is a good one. Yeah, you have something very big. So this is one method of doing it. Just by messing with the mapping, you can change um, the position of the logo. And I can still change the color of my top without messing up the logo. And of course, I can change the color of the logo too by... Okay, I don't need to do that in this video. That's not the aim of this video. So the second method is by using UV. So the first method is this, by messing around with the mapping. The second method is by using UV. So I'm going to delete this mapping that we've done. X to delete. Then now, I need to create another UV set because, okay, let me create a new one first and rename it as logo so we don't get confused. So this one is the one that will be responsible for driving just the logo and this other one is responsible for driving these other textures. So now if I click on the logo, I can go to make sure the logo UV is selected or else you're going to mess up with your main UV set. So I'll click on the logo UV, select the top, at least the one in front, then scale it up until you have your logo right where you want it. So I want it right here in the center. So let's see it. It's not updating yet and that's because we, we've not told Blender to use this particular one. When you have no texture mapping here or UV coordinates um, connected, it's going to use the default. Whatever um, render, because this is the active render, whatever has this active render button on, this is what all the other textures we use, except you specify, like this one is has a different specification because I want to scale up the texture. But for these other ones, they're using this by default. So if I change it to the logo one, you see that the logo is looking good, but the other ones are messed up. So for, so let me just change this one back to this. And I have to specify and tell this that, hey, just lose the logo uv alone so i just click on the, select the um image texture ctrl t to create the mapping but we're not going to use this texture coordinates so i'm going to delete it shift a so i can go to search uv so i go to uv map i think it's on that um i think vector or converter mm, uh, input yeah that input uv map I hardly use it, the shortcut is faster. So with UV map selected, I can just connect it to the vector, then come down here to UV mapping. Oh, sorry, to the logo, logo, the second one. So just this logo map alone, we use this UV. So that way, oh, see the back, the back is still, is, is still at the original position. So to, to fix this, I'll go back to the UV, select the back mesh, then move it outside where the logo is. Just move it out. Oh, sorry. I'm fixing it for the UV map. <clears throat> so I have to select the logo. L to select, then move it out. Yeah, it's working now. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you've gained one or two things from this. Don't forget to like the video. <laughs> Subscribe to our channel if you've not done so. Click on the notification bell. To get notified every time we upload videos like this and until next time stay true to your creativity bye bye